All right, you ready? Yeah, I'll, share, I'll, I'll share the screen, but you won't see much. Okay. All right, one, two, three, go. Hi, it's me. I'm home. I'm in the kitchen. How did you get on? Oh, not bad. I made about 70 quid, more or less. I haven't counted it up yet. Hey, that old laptop fetched 20. And I got a few bob for the books. I thought you said the laptop was a load of junk. Well, I better days, but it still worked. It just took an H to warm up and was a bit slow. I, I couldn't be doing with it. Couldn't they tell that when they bought it? Did they switch it on? I'd already booted it up. Mmm, that was sneaky of you. Well, they said they just wanted one for their kit to do his own work on. He'll be alright with it. As long as he doesn't try using it for gaming. I mean, paying just 20 quid for a laptop, they can't go wrong really, can they? Uh, they can if the computer goes wrong. It won't. It'll be fine. My conscience is clear. Anyway, look what I got. Hold on. What on earth is that? You can see what it is. It's an exercise bike. It looks like a piece of scrap metal. No, it doesn't. It was going for a song, so I snapped it up. Going for a song? How much? 30. How much? 30 pounds. Good grief, you've been done. Why? It's got a pedal missing. Oh, oh God, I didn't notice that. No problem. I can fix it, I think. You were supposed to be flogging things, not throwing money down the drain buying stuff you don't need. I do need it. I've got to lose some weight. I put on a right oak pot belly recently. I thought you'd be pleased that I'm going to do some exercise. You know, I can't do right for doing wrong. Putting on weight could be something to do with the fact that you seldom get your backside off the sofa. I do. I play golf for two hours every Sunday. Yeah, then another two hours downing a few pints before Henry drops you off back here for Sunday dinner. Spending money we haven't got on beer. That doesn't help your weight. Neither does your delicious cooking, darling. That's what does it. Don't you try sweet-talking me. It won't work. You could try sorting out the garden and mowing the lawn once in a blue moon to get some weight off you. It looks like a bloody jungle out there. Oh, I hate gardening. <laughs> Tell me something new. Maybe we should hire a gardener. And where, might I ask? Are you going to find the money to pay a gardener? Out of thin air? You're out of a job, out of money and out of your mind. Get real. OK, OK. What's for lunch? Wait and see. I'm going for a shower. I need to spruce myself up a bit before your parents come round. Otherwise I'll have your mother on my back for looking a mess again. Don't you dare bring my mother into it. I married you in spite of her saying that I'd live to regret it because you would never hold a job down. Yet you spend money like there's no tomorrow. I'm beginning to think she was right when you tell me that you splashed out on that useless contraption. What? That contraption? The exercise bike? OK, I'll take it out of your sight if it stops you having a go at me. Good. Now leave me in peace. I'm up to my eyes in it here. This recipe is complicated and I don't know whether I'm coming or going now. I can't remember if I added a pinch of salt or two or three or four. Get out of my hair. Mum and Dad will be here in an hour. Joy of joys. What did you say? Nothing. OK, I'll take it away. I thought I might set it up in the living room so I can use it when I'm watching telly. Over my dead body, you will. I'm not having it clattering up my lounge. Put it in the garage. OK, dear. Come on. Give us a quick kiss, then. Ow! That hurt! Hitting me on the head with a wooden spoon isn't very romantic, is it? I'll use a frying pan next. <laughs> Charming. 
I came in all happy, you know, like the joys of spring. Why wasn't she happy, Amando? Sorry, why wasn't uh, why she... Was she happy? Well, I think she was not happy because she bought uh, useless uh, things or because she uh, splashed uh, some money on, on, on useless things. I splashed some money, yeah. I splashed some money. I splashed out. Out, yeah. Splashed out, yeah. Splashed so. out, you're extravagant. Mm. Okay? It's often done by ladies who go and splash out on a new outfit, on a new dress for an occasion. Oh, I have that party to go to on Saturday night. I must splash out on a new dress. It's uh, sorry, but she used an expression. I uh, she said you splashed out on some contractions. I think. All right, she splashed. Out. Anyone else get that word? Samuel, what did you get it? Yes, I did. What was it? Auction. Uh, oh, auctions. Not contraction. Con contraption. Okay, you can see it in chat. Yeah. A contraption, a piece of machinery, okay? What's that contraption for? I've never seen one of those before. So that, that that's a contraption. All right, so I'd splashed out, as she calls it, on a useless contraption. Why wasn't she pleased about it? But, but you mean, for example, with the uh, exercise bike? Yeah. With that one? Oh, because I think a pedal was missing. A pedal was missing. You know, the pedals, uh, the pedal, which you put mm. your feet on. A pedal was missing. So she thought it was useless anyway. But why else wasn't she happy? Sandra, any ideas? Yes, I think there was a problem with the laptop. Okay, uh, it, it didn't boot it up. It didn't boot up. A problem with? The laptop. Because it didn't boot up. Uh, what, what was the problem with the laptop? It didn't boot up. Yeah. Who was it? Who was it a problem for? Maria? What was it about the laptop? What I remember is that the laptop cost 20 quid. Yeah, who paid Who paid 20 quid for the laptop? <laughs> okay, we'll come, back to, we'll come back to the laptop later. Maria, so she wasn't happy with him. There he is. Typical, isn't it? He comes home all happy and she... Put him down. Put him down? What does put him down mean? <laughs> Discourage. <laughs> yeah. A cold shower. Discourage. It's a cold shower. Yeah, 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 him a cold shower. He's a bit, sounds like he's a bit henpecked. Henpecked? You know, you know that one, Samuel? Yeah. yeah. When a woman, like, makes you problem and you're not leashed not leashed like like a dog well <laughs> a dog is on a leash okay okay let it can mean this okay she doesn't let him off the leash you know, in case he goes, she keeps him on the leash. She doesn't let him off the leash in case he goes off with another woman. Yeah, that's doesn't necessarily mean he's, he's henpecked. Hens peck at corn, don't they? You know. <laughs> so if a man is henpecked, it's usually this way around. It's being henpecked by women. Okay, not the other way around. If it's impact, the wife is always, I told you to do this. You, you haven't put those covers up. When are you going to?
you get around to this? You always have to do it. And that's henpecked. Okay. Tanya, do you henpeck your husband? Not at all. <laughs> no, I can't imagine that you do. Sandra, do you? Uh, more often than not. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that's henpeck. Right, so and he is he is often browbeaten. You know that expression? No. It's this is not just in in um, a marriage, but you can talk about browbeaten husband. I think I just did something on Facebook on this. If you're browbeaten. Someone is always putting you down in an argument. Okay, brow, not your brow, eyebrows, brow beaten. So, okay. So, it's bought this lovely exercise bike, which she calls a useless contraption. Why isn't she happy? Yeah, it's got a pedal missing. So it's going to be very because he bought things that seems that seem to be and uh, he spent money and he bought things that seem to her seem to be unusual. Yeah, yeah. And she, she just no. Yeah, you, 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 you won't gonna use it. She know she knows you better. She, you won't gonna use it at all. Hey, don't don't say me. I'm only pretending. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so i'm not going to use it i'm not going to use it yeah that's one part of it what's the other part of it okay and i think you were supposed to to flock things to sell them not to buy them right yeah so she calls you sneaky she doesn't call me sneaky because of that we come back to sneaky she says i was supposed to be there flogging things okay to flog is to sell right it's a very informal one you know you're not going to find this in reading um hey someone flogged me something you know i flog i flogged that as he did actually he we'll come back to the laptop he flogged the laptop <laughs> He sold the laptop. He flogged it. What did, What is the other meaning of flogged? To punish, like beat. Uh, it is used in a in an idiom with a horse, I think. Uh, a dead horse, no? Yeah. Look at before, the, before the idiom, if you flog someone... Okay, uh, you punish him? How do you punish him? Oh. With with your words, just yeah. Sorry, sorry, Marina. With your words, this saying something. Uh, oh, no, quite not. offending. Oh, all right, you, oh, we share yes. with we share yes. with the whip. For those of you who are, who are Christians, okay, Jesus was flogged before the crucifixion. You're all Western here, yeah. So Jesus was flogged. It's usually a tight pose. Throw stones. Sorry? To throw stones. Throw? No. Stones. So no, maybe uh, with, with a whip. With a whip. With a whip. Or a, or ah, a, right, right. Yeah, to, yeah right. Or, yes. or, or a lash. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Slaves were flogged. In, okay, right. In, in America, you know, on the back. And um, so that's flog. To flog a dead horse means what? Yeah. What does to flog a dead horse mean? Mando, you said it. Uh, well, uh, I think the uh, idiom means that uh, you're doing something useless that. Uh, are this uh, inevitable? It, it want to be productive, or it, yeah. it want to be fruitful. I don't know. But the horse, you know, you're driving a carriage. The horse is pulling the carriage. It won't go. 
you're whipping it to try to make it go. It's no use doing that. It's dead. You mm. can't do anything. You're flogging a dead horse. You're trying to fix, trying to fix that television. You should, uh, it's, you're flogging a dead horse. All right. To focus on some issue or topic that's no longer relevant. That's not. That's not. Yes. That's not going to work. Yes, Alessandra. Mm. Alessandra. Yeah. Are you yeah. back, May? I am here. Are you having problems, May? I'm not. So, are you having internet problems? I thought you disappeared. No, I've just admitted you back into the room. Oh, I can. I can't hear you. Hello. 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 Yeah, I can hear you. Right, so to flog a dead horse, it could be a project, like you're saying, Alessandra, okay? Trying to oh, succeed in oh, a project is like flogging a dead horse. Right, let's move on. Let's move back. So he's been flogging something. Why is she, he, he went there to flog something? He's coming back with an exercise bike, which has got only got one pedal. And as someone says, he'll never probably never use it. So why, why is she also unhappy with him? I think because he mentioned uh, her mom. <laughs> before, I don't know. before that, before he mentions her. Okay, mom. okay. Yeah, because he she okay. wanted him to to mow, to mow the lawn, to mow the, the lawn. She wanted him to do some things more important, you know, at home. Yeah. Okay. But we're missing a very important point here. All right, don't worry. I wanted him to move it somewhere to the side because it was kind of interfering. <laughs> All right, that comes later. She's un she's unhappy about him for something else. I'm going to play it again in a minute. Okay. And maybe put away. You argue that you want to put away, but um, she says that that's not it. All right, let's let's move. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm going to play it again. Okay, all right. So she doesn't. She said she doesn't think he'll use it. All right. Let's talk about the. Um, what is she doing? Where is she? She's, she's in the cooking. Cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Here is, um, why is she? Why uh, she? And the recipe is quite tricky, and she would like uh, uh, to be concentrated uh, and like uh, to concentrate. Okay, she, she'd like to concentrate. Yeah, to be concentrated. She'd like to concentrate. All right, and he is interrupting her. What? Who's she cooking for? For her parents. Her parents. Yeah. So for them to come around. Yeah. Is he is he happy about that? <laughs> no, he, he doesn't like his mother. Her mother. Her mother. Doesn't like her mother. Why? Let me check it out here. Anyone else? Does does her mother like him? No, nah, no, I think she doesn't. No, <laughs> she why doesn't. not? Why not? I'm sorry. I think I think her mother doesn't like him. Doesn't like him. All right. Yeah, maybe because she, she knows that the the marriage uh, she doesn't know if the marriage is coming or going. I don't know. Maybe it is. Well, she says no. It's it's actually the wife. Spenny, you said, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. You don't use, you know, she thinks the marriage won't work out. Right, okay. And she didn't like the way he was speaking about her. And she told her, don't you dare speak like uh, this about my mother. So mm. she wasn't satisfied with his word. All right, okay. She didn't like, you know, her dear mom. Okay. All right. So they had that argument. So where's he going to put the bike, the exercise bike? The garage. 
No, but where do, where does he want to put it, put it? Where does he want to put it? In the box room, no. In the box room, no. He wants to put it somewhere so that he can do something else at the same time. True. All right. But she tells what, what should it tell you? Yeah, so he wants to use it. So he's going to, he wants to put it in the living room mm -hmm. so he can watch the telly at the same time as do, doing it. Okay. Um, and do they resolve this discussion nicely? Do they to resolve some extent. it? Sorry? To some extent. To some extent, yes. So the, do they do they part? I don't mean forever. Do they part nicely? What does what what happens at the end? Oh, she has a wooden spoon and she uh, like smacks you on the head. Smacks me. It smacks him. I'm only acting. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> really do it. <laughs> we can be nice to each other as well. All right. So she smacked him on the head with a wooden spoon. Oh my goodness. He said, Oh, that he... what does she say? Get out of my sight. And she said, and he said, I'm going to take a shower. And uh, and she said something like, oh, oh, you can do it only over my dead body. I mean. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think the trouble is sometimes <laughs> when you're writing down, you miss things. But, okay, I won't tell you what she says. You can listen, you can listen to it. But they, but they, but they kick it, they, sorry, they kiss at each other very quickly at the end. The, do they kiss each other? Oh, well, well you're, you're going to have to listen again, okay? And just to make a point, in actual fact, this is my ex-wife who I'm doing the acting with. We've been married, uh, sorry, divorced for over 40 years. We do not kiss each other now. <laughs> <laughs> Purely platonic. If I go to stay at her house, it's separate bedrooms now these days. Okay, <laughs> life, life has moved on. We've we've both been married again since and divorced. So you know, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Just mentioning a wooden spoon, okay? Because she's using a wooden spoon. What's an idiom with wooden spoon? Wooden. I know the other one with the silver spoon, but <laughs> you're born with the spoon. spoon. You're born with right. At the last position. If you're having um the last position. Huh? The 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 last position in a competition, this is what we call you got the wooden spoon. You're reminding me of something basic actually, a wooden spoon. I've heard that kind of vaguely, but no. Uh, not, it's not. You're having an. You say it when you stir up, stir up, an argument. All right. So, two people are um, having an argument. Okay, and someone else chips in contribute okay and you might say oh, pass him the wooden spoon okay pass him the wooden spoon to stir up the argument so you pass someone the wooden spoon is to stir up the argument okay that the audio is actually quite long there's a lot in there so I'm going to play it again, but I think it's good because this is a real test of your listening abilities. OK, there are a lot of phrases in there. We don't speak particularly fast, but this is the kind of 
conversation i'm not saying it's the kind of conversation you could hear because you're not going to be in people's houses hearing this but the but the expressions that you're hearing are common expressions and it's very different when you're hearing them than when you're seeing when than when you're seeing them in writing okay all right i'm going to play it again and i'm going to right okay are you ready to listen again okay don't i suggest you don't try and make notes okay don't because i'm going to show you the script anyway so don't don't try and make notes because i think when you're making notes you miss the gist you know you're too busy writing a note and you miss what's being said just try to understand the story okay and do bear in mind that i'm acting okay right there we go let me find it again Uh, this time you've got a bit of a visual visual okay <laughs> 